North of the Boston airport is Easy City Downs. You know you're getting close when you hear a man's voice over the PA speaker. Hey, hey, pipe down out there. We got a race on. Coming up next, Lady Lovelace takes on the Iron Maiden in a head-to-head -head match. You don't want to miss this. Back to the track. He's a junk is really showing off those new mods. Don't forget Boston Blaster. He's pulled this out before. Atomic Dreams is still hanging in there. What a race. What a race. You all get your bets in. I sure did. We've got a good, clean race today. Absolutely no funny business. We got some fine bots in this race. Old Rusty's as steady as ever. Let's give him a hand, huh? Bob's your uncle is coming up fast. This is Eager Ernie. He's a trigger man in charge of Easy City Downs. Here they perform robot races. This is a racetrack inhabited by raiders and triggermen who bet on robot races. This place is notable because it's one of the few places where you find triggermen. You don't find them all over the game like you do raiders and gunners. Now you can't enjoy the robot races because as you get close, the raiders and triggermen watching the races all turn hostile and start to attack you. It's also possible that eager Ernie will program the robots to attack you as well. On one of my playthroughs, he sent the robots out after me, but on another one, he didn't. It appears to be random. If you kill all the raiders and triggermen, the robots will stay neutral unless Eager Ernie programmed them to attack. Then you can finally get up close and watch the races. So what's the story of this place? Why are raiders and triggermen working together? Well, there are a few notes you can find about the place that clear things up. Inside the clubhouse, we find a note called Racetrack Advertisement. This is a pre-war note that told us what the track was used for before the bombs dropped. They did horse races here. We learned that Fallon's department stores even sponsored a few. But the note that gives us the most background is a note called Associates Note. The thing is, you only find this note if you previously cleared Libertalia of raiders before doing the Institute quest that sent you there to retrieve Gabriel. So before Gabriel became a raider boss at Libertalia, there was an ex-Minuteman raider boss there named Wire. The associate's note at Easy City Downs only appears if you discovered Wire before Gabriel replaces him and before you discover Easy City Downs. If you do, on the corpse of one of the raiders or triggermen, you find an associate's note that reads like this. Wire raised the tribute again. We're paying almost half our take to Libertalia now. I've got Tommy working over the books. I need you to find a better way to rig these races. Take a couple bots offline and see what you can do. This note is presumably from Eager Ernie and the corpse you find it on is the associate. We can gather that Wire and his raiders at Libertalia were extorting the triggerman here at Easy City Downs for protection money. That is, as long as Eager Ernie ponied up the cash, Wire and his raiders would protect the racetrack. This could explain why they're able to continue to put on races without being molested by super mutants or other creatures. It also might explain why you find raiders and triggermen working together here. Maybe the raiders were part of Wire's gang who were there to protect the place. Or maybe like the combat zone, Easy City Downs is an attraction just for raiders and triggermen. Remember, the combat zone was a fighting arena where they put on caged fights. This is where you find Kate. But everyone turns hostile and tries to kill you when you arrive. It's the same thing here at Easy City Downs. This must have been a place where raiders and triggermen and other nefarious creatures in the Commonwealth would come to bet on robot races under the protection of Wire and his raiders at Libertalia. Now, Wire seems to be a bit unfair. He's taking half of what the triggermen earn. Eager Ernie already has Tommy working over the book which probably told Wire that they made less money at the racetrack than they really did. This would allow Eager Ernie and his Triggermen to keep more of it. The Triggermen are also rigging the races. There's a shack on the racetrack that looks like a robot repair garage. Inside, we find a few deactivated robots that all have unique names. Iron Maiden, Piece of Junk, Tin Man. They sound like the names of horses. You find a note on the table called Scrapper's Note. Look, boss, I've done all I can do. The old tin can can't run. Hell, with the shape it was in, we're lucky it even walks. You need another racer? Find me another bot. This is where they repaired the robots and then tweaked the robots for a rigged race in favor 
of the Triggermen. The neat thing about Easy City Downs is once you clear the place of Raiders and Triggermen, you get control of the robots. There are three terminals inside the place that give you control of the robots. You find a key that opens up all of them on Eager Ernie's body. The first option is to stop the race. Choosing this option shuts down all robots. It doesn't kill them, you can't loot them, it just causes them to stop exactly where they are and to sit down. The next option is to change the route that the robots run. They are currently going on the racetrack route. They stay on the track and they go in a big circle. The second option is Camp Defense Patrol. This option sends the robots through the main camp in the center of the racetrack. They weave through the camp and then find their way back to the racetrack. The last option is Scramble Route. This one sends the robot in all sorts of directions. The robots will go into the camp, some of them will go over to the bleachers, some of them jump up on the shacks in the middle of the camp and walk around, some of them go over to the clubhouse where Eager Ernie was. Choosing Racetrack Route again will send them all back to the racetrack. The next option is to change the targeting parameters. There are two main options. The first is override targeting. This causes the robots to attack everyone except the administrator. The administrator is whomever is using the terminal at the time, which at the moment is you. And scramble targeting causes them to attack just absolutely everything, including each other. And then you can reset their targeting parameters by choosing reset targeting. The next option is disable combat inhibitors, and this causes the robots to attack based upon their targeting parameters. In this way, you can cause the robots to leave you alone, but to attack the raiders and the triggermen. If you're a low level or you don't want to waste ammo, you can sneak on in, kill eager Ernie, loot his key, access the terminal, set the racetrack route to scramble route. This ensures that the robots come on over to the clubhouse and the stands. Set the targeting parameters to override targeting. That ensures that they attack all of the raiders and triggermen, but they don't attack you. And then going to combat inhibitors and disabling them. All that's left is to stand back and watch the robot carnage. It's interesting that Ernie has the option to change the route of the robots to go both into the camp and into the stands. This tells us that he created a contingency plan in case Wire and his raiders ever tried to extort too much protection money, or in the case that Ernie just decided that he had had enough. He could very easily use a setup like this to wipe out all of the raiders. I imagine him inviting Wire to come check out the track. Maybe he's got a new hall of chems that he wants to share. And when Wire and his raiders are feeling comfortable, he sets the robots loose. Once they're done killing the raiders and triggermen, the robots return to whichever race route you have them programmed to. The final option is to cause them to self-destruct. If you choose this option, you hear an alarm start to buzz, and if you get too close, the robots will attack, but then we see the majesty. If you kill the robots, look for the body of Old Rusty. You find the Bugle repertoire on his body, which is a holotape that plays a bunch of racing tunes on the Bugle. There are about five different tunes on this holotape. No words, just music. Don't forget to go back to the clubhouse where you found Easy Ernie to loot Tumblr's Today Issue 1, which makes lockpicking easier. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is the full story of Easy City Downs. Some triggermen just trying to make a buck and rigging the numbers to make enough money to pay off Wire at Libertalia, who's trying to get protection money from them. A fun little detour here in the wasteland. In my game, I killed all the raiders and triggermen, and then I left the robots to just run around in a circle forever. 
I like seeing him go, especially Tin Man, the Protectron that runs really fast. But what did you do in your game, ladies and gentlemen? I'd love to hear from you. I read all the comments viewers leave on my videos, so let me know in the comment section below what you thought of this little side area. If you like what I do and you want to support me in a more personal way, consider becoming one of my patrons on Patreon. Patreon subscribers gain access to my private Discord server as well as a bunch of other cool Oxhorn perks. But more than anything, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just so glad that you're here watching this video today. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow morning bright and early with a brand new video.